you guys, take a with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix a problem where approval request sent and you get this to continue using iCloud on this iPhone, approve it from one of your other devices using iCloud or enter iCloud security passcode. So when you get this message, you can enter your security code if you know it, or if you don't, you can hit OK, and then we'll show you how to fix it. So what you'll do is, in order to fix this problem, first thing is go into your setting of your iPhone, and then click on your Apple ID. And once you click on your Apple ID, you're going to click on iCloud. Once you click on iCloud, you should see an option for passwords and keychain. Click on that. And then what you'll do is where it says sync to this iPhone, you're going to turn it off. So wait till it turns off. And once it turns off, close out the setting. Then you're going to force restart your iPhone. So in order to force restart, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears at that time you'll let go of that button so I'll do volume up volume down and then I hold the side button make sure you press and release the volume up and down quick and then hold that side button just like I am and we're gonna wait till the screen goes completely black and once you see the Apple logo reappear we will let go of that button and that's known as a force restart which reloads the software of the code by shutting it down first and this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos, videos, apps will be safe on your iPhone. Now we're waiting for the phone to boot up normally like it should. Give it about a few minutes and once you're back on, go ahead and enter your passcode to get into your iPhone. Now we're going to go back to our setting of our iPhone, right? And this time we're going to go ahead back to that password and keychain and this time we're going to turn it back on. Now when you turn it back on, it might ask you to enter your security passcode from your another device that you have or if you forgot it you can click on tap to forget and then reset it as well by entering your Apple ID password but once you have done that and entered your Apple ID password you should be good to go and that message be gone from your device and you won't have that issue any longer so I hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time